Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra. Where we talk all things Libra. Welcome, 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 welcome. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Let's get into it. Alright. We're going to be going from Monday to Sunday. So... What is it? Monday the 2nd to... I don't even know. What is that? The 2nd... To the 8th? Okay, so the 2nd to the 8th. Okay, the 8th of January. Alright, so let's get into it. First, we're going to be seeing what the energy of the week is. I'm going into my pro deck, and then we're going to be going into the black cards. Alright, what is the energy of the week for Libra? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bond. The energy is a bond, okay? All right, so your bonds, your relationships, all right? There's some type of distraction or there's teamwork. So both of these crows are distracting or this crow is distracting the dog so this crow can eat and I'm pretty sure they're going to take turns. So it's like teamwork, okay? So it's, it's giving teamwork. I also feel like in a distance, for some of you guys, this can have something to do with your spirit guides. So I do feel like the bonds of your spirit guides are is really, really big. Somebody in a distance, okay? So I also feel like there's a person who you don't necessarily talk to every day or you don't see every day, but the bond is there. The bond and the love is there and the teamwork and the camaraderie is there, all right? Also, you may not see what a person is doing. All right, so somebody is distracting this person or they're distracting these people so you can eat, so you can get what's yours. Or you could be distracting somebody from somebody who's very, very clever, okay? All right, what else do we have? Other energies. Do we have, there's a new man too. All right, you got not my peeps. All right, not my peeps, okay? Not my peeps, all right? Scared and stuck, and you have I trust you, all right? So no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's number one, all right? In case you need to see it, guys, no weapon. All right, formed against you shall prosper. That's number one. Um, something can't hurt you. There's something that can't hurt you because you trust the person. You got protection, like flames protection on everything. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. What's the follow-up for not my peeps? What's the follow-up for not my peeps? They're getting close to you because of what you got. Okay, so somebody could be trying to distract you. Or a person could be trying to distract you. Okay, somebody could be trying to distract you. So there's some type of bond here. All right, something not your peeps. You got distractions. Something could be distracting you. Um, somebody could be getting close to you because of what it is that you have. Or this could be vice versa. You could be getting close to somebody because of what it is that they have. Somebody could be um, very, very clever. Also, I feel like it's giving I'm, trust, I'm trusting you to have my back. Somebody has your best interest at heart. We're going to go ahead and see. Once we go through this uh, weekly forecast. All right, what's the weekly forecast for Libra? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what we got for Monday? Hmm. Monday, you got the Seven of Swords. All right, Tuesday, you got the Queen of Wands. All right, um, Wednesday, we have the Five of Cups. 
Thursday, you got the death card. Friday, we have the four of pentacles. Saturday, we have the queen of pentacles. And Sunday, we got the eight of swords. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the magician card here. Um, and this is you championing, like, you, this is you um, standing up to your negative mindset, okay? You're not going to be letting your negative mindset stop you, all right? Um, I feel like this is you pulling out the magician within. This is you pulling out the confidence from within. I feel like this is hidden confidence that you didn't know that you had that's coming out. You're also looking at this new cup, this new option. This is a new way. This is a new energy. This is a new vibe. So this week is definitely going to be a new vibe, all right, for you. All right, so let's just go through. On Monday, you got the Seven of Swords. You could be feeling like somebody cheated you or somebody lied to you, something like that. Um, Somebody got a wave of something and somebody doesn't feel any type of remorse for it, all right? Also, on um on the Queen of Wands, you kind of get into this confidence energy, on Tuesday, you are dressing good, okay? You're looking good. You're feeling really, really good, okay? On Wednesday, you're going to be missing someone or looking at the past or looking at what was. This could be through reflection or whatever, but you're going to be missing someone or someone's going to be missing you. On Thursday, you got the death card. There's a rebirth. There's a whole new energy. There's something that is just different about you on Thursday, all right? On Friday, you have the Four of Pentacles here. Um, this is you holding, you're holding on to your valuables or you're being more um, st strategic about how you give up. I feel like also you could be holding back or withholding some type of information, all right? And on Saturday, you got the Queen of Pentacles. I could just see you just sitting gracefully. Also, I feel like you're unbothered on Saturday. And then on Sunday, you got the Eight of Swords. There could be some type of self-sabotage, a lot of fear and thoughts. There may need to be some practices that you need to do to work on your self-doubt on um, Sunday, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify. If anything resonates already, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. why it feels like it's like Tuesday or something like it does not feel like it's Monday it feels like it's like Wednesday like I have no idea I wonder if anybody else feel like that like I'm like tomorrow Wednesday they're like no it's Monday I don't know why something to mess my time all up Feel like there's some drama that's resurfacing too so be mindful of that this week all right tell me more about the seven of swords all right so you may get a call or a visit from somebody who from from the repeat offender all right you may get a call from this person okay um, something unexpected happens, uh, apology, okay, all right, so somebody wants to apologize, so there's a person who's done something wrong, or I feel like somebody's going to be realizing that they did something wrong on Monday, or this could just be a, a repeat offender, somebody could be wanting to apologize to you, all right, um, what's crossing this, you got the judgment card, all right, so someone wants to show you their true colors, okay, so a person is truly sorry, um, I feel like their behavior is definitely going to change. So somebody wants to apologize for what they've done in the past. All right. So instead of coming back to get those two swords, they're coming back to kind of like be the two of cups. The two swords is the two of cups. They're coming back to kind of create a bond. They want to create a bond um, with you. You got the ace of swords. This is going to be a truthful like, very, very truthful communication on Monday with the person who could have possibly hurt you in the past, okay? Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is coming out here. All right, you got the the Six of Cups. I feel like some of you guys could be looking younger on Tuesday. Yeah, the star, you're looking younger on Tuesday, looking more vibrant on Tuesday, more illuminated. There's some different, um, there's different 
features about you that's going to be illuminated. Somebody might be complimenting something on you that you never got complimented before. Okay. Um, you got the Ten of Swords. I feel like this comes from you letting go of something or you being eager to move on. When you when you remove burdens from your life, you actually look different. You're not holding all of that. A lot of us, we hold stress in different areas in our life. I know a lot of women hold the stress in their hips. And things like that, and that's why on like our in our menstrual a lot of uh, in our menstruation a lot of us are hit with a lot of cramps because we hold a lot of trauma and stress and overwhelm and things like that, um, in our hips and things like that. A lot of people hold it in their faces. Um, a lot of people hold it in their shoulders and their neck. That's why they walk with their necks hunched or they with really really poor 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 posture. Um, and I feel like as you release these things or whatever this Ten of Swords is, um, as you release this, you, and I feel like this is an eagerness for you to release it. It kind of brings more vibrancy or more radiance to your skin, your face. What's crossing this? You got the Six of Pentacles, okay? Um, I do feel like you're eager to kind of move on because you feel like you're being reciprocated or you feel like you're being supported. You do have the temperance at the bottom of the deck. That's the angels working things out from behind the scenes. Um, and you're really, really dedicated on manifesting, on getting what it is that you want. Trying to manifest these things in your life on Tuesday. So Tuesday, I feel like there's going to be a lot of compliments on Tuesday. Tell me more about Five of Cups. All right, the Five of Cups, all right? Okay, so you guys are moving on, okay? Definitely moving on. You got the Page of the page of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're content. You're happier now with the Seven of Wands. You're happier. You, you're protecting your peace. You're moving on from the past. You're realizing that something was and it is, and you're accepting it, okay? So you have some type of acceptance, so you have forgiven, Okay? Um, I feel like also your forgiveness creates a better bond in your relationships, all right, especially friendships here, okay, what's crossing this is the King of Cups, you're able to sit with something and forgive, okay, um, what's crossing this is there's something happening, something, if you meditate on Wednesday, that's going to be something powerful that happens, if you could put some extra minutes in there to get a little bit more of that, that essence, that aura, Definitely. Something powerful happens. It's a transference of energy. This is what you're doing. You're transferring this energy here. You're going through a rebirth on Wednesday. So sitting in meditation, prayer is going to be really, really big. You got the sun card. All right. Um, there's a necklace. So there's something. There's a necklace. There's something very, very symbolic. I don't know. But there's a necklace that's very, very symbolic to this energy. All right. Tell me more about the death card here. All right. So you have the justice card. All right. So here you rebirth. There's something new about your energy. Um, rejuvenation. You got the justice card here. You're feeling very, very successful. You're feeling very, very happy. All right. You got the hangman. You're looking at a situation totally different. And... The angels are working something out. You're creating alchemy. So I feel like with something that wasn't supposed to work for you, and this is all major arcana, so all major things happening on Thursday. So I do feel like there's some type of karmic, there's some type of good karma that happens. I also feel like that there's something that you've been waiting for and your, your angels and your spirit guides have been working for working on it for you and they're going to be presenting it to you on thursday yeah on thursday there's a new a, a whole new opportunity when it comes to career and finances you've been hit with an amazing opportunity when it comes to career on thursday you start seeing a an, an amazing um opportunity that that comes with career it's the ace of pentacles okay
You may have to do some things that other people don't like. But that's okay with you. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. All right. On Friday. Okay, so you make a choice. You decide to, to make a choice and go through with a decision on Friday. And you're not you're not telling anyone the details. You're being very, very... I'm pr pretty sure that there's only four people that you're going to tell or that you've already told about these, these details. Okay, so you have the Eight of Wands here with the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're going to be creating an illusion. You're not telling people the real details. So you're going to be lying a little bit. That could be like... It is about this Ace of Pentacles. So it's about what happens on Thursday. So you may have to do some things that people don't like, okay? So you may have to lie a little bit, tell a white lie. Um, and you have the Queen of Wands. To protect something. But this is coming off you being very, very busy. The Queen of Wands is the busy one. It's you getting things done. You being very very successful so something happens and you're very very successful you got the chariot over here with the king of swords you're very very successful keep keep some type of discipline all right um you're not going to be telling people what's happening your hard work and dedication is definitely going to pay off on friday all right um there's only a, a little bit of people who you're going to tell about this amazing news you have the magic touch or you have the Midas touch. All right, tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, look at Saturday. Saturday, you're sitting. What are you sitting on? You're sitting on your Nine of Cups, on your desires, on your contentment, getting what, you, what it is you want, on your ultimate wish. All right, you got the, the Emperor card. You're feeling like you are the ruler. I do feel like you're the CEO of something. Something is yours. You are in charge or you are... Yeah, you are in charge or you are in control. I also feel like... You're going to be letting your hair down a lot. Doing something fun on Saturday. Also, something unexpected happens on Saturday. Alright? There could be some drama happening on Saturday. I got hear crabs in the barrel. Be mindful who you tell something because it's given like everybody is trying to reach, get to the top and they're willing to pull anyone down to get there. You're leveling up. You're going to a new level in your life. Be mindful. Be mindful about something, okay? About how you, who, who you disclose information with. All right, tell me more about the Eight of Swords for Sunday for Libra. All right, you got the Queen of Pentacles. You're worried. All right, you, you are worried about something, okay? You got the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups. You're worried about this ultimate gift. All right, so there's some worries. Okay, so I guess this would be good worries, all right? So you're worried about some type of love relationship. And you're self-sabotaging it. Yeah. Listening to low vibrational, this devil energy that could be in your mind. Yeah, that could be in your mind. Well, you should just be having fun and letting your hair down. All right. Um, so be mindful of negative thoughts coming to you on Sunday about some type of love relationship here. You're ready. Your ships are here. All right. Um, you're safe. Okay. You can trust this cup that's coming in. You can trust this love that's coming into you. All right. So that is the reading. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.